Wild Sweet Orange and play the drums. What do you use? What Ludwig kit do you use? Is it a vintage one or is it a... No, it's a, it's a reissue. It's, a, it's just the Ludwig Classics that came out a couple years ago. And, um, you know, of course I would want, I do want, you know, great vintage drums, but the problem with vintage drums and touring is that they're not really, you know, they used to be able to, you know, hold up, you know, every night, but you can't take a 1966 kit out and play it every day and expect it to, you know, hold up. Right. So I ordered a new one and it has new hardware and, you know, it's not quite made the same way as the old ones as far as the beveled edges on the toms and stuff like that, what people look for in vintage kits um, who record and whatnot, but, you know, they sound great and, you know, they look awesome. I just think that, you know, as opposed to, like, vintage kits, there's so many drum companies now. There used to only be a handful, and, you know, I think the fabricated standard kits that are coming out from all the drum companies now, um, excluding the custom companies, um, you know, they're all about the same. You know, most drum companies use the same type of shell, um, Keller shells, and not, most of the custom companies use those kind of shells. So as far as like each company having their own style of shell like it used to be, like Ludwig was making their own kind, Slingerland was making their own kind. Um, now it's kind of all the same, so I don't think they'll be as hot of a commodity as vintage kits are now.